Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Well, the last few chapters we have wandered far in a field from what missions we were trying to accomplish. We started out exploring the circus, and then trying to track down a murderer, and then wound up wandering through some caves out into the fervor part of Baldur's Gate, and exploring around a bit until we found this cave right here where we stopped off. So let's continue exploring. Have to keep going. <clears throat> Aha, well it appears the boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Hey, we just found the secret lair of our buddies, the Iron Hand Gnomes. Two days just to get hold of a still watcher optic module. And for what? Waste of time we don't have. Look. Unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. Okay. Rude little know it alls. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Do you have anything to trade? Only if you're quick. Oh, we have a Flash Blinder, very rare. Dragon Sling Arrow, Humanoid Sling Arrow. Thunder Palm Strikers, your armed attacks deal thunder damage. Martial Exertion Gloves. And Nimble Fingers Glove. Gnomes are guaranteed plus two dexterity. Halfling and Dwarves get plus one dexterity. Would be handy if I had any Halflings or Dwarves in my party. Scroll of Remove Curse, Arrow of Arcane Interference, Smoke Powder Arrow. I don't think we have one of those yet. Arrow of Many Targets. Could be handy. Arrow of Transposition, Arrow of Darkness, Arrow of Almutner, Arrow of Roaring Thunder, Arrow of Fiend Slaying, Arrow of Monstrosity Slaying. And Smoke Powder Bomb, Holy Water, Acid Damage, Grease Bottle, Acid Arrow... And we'll just go ahead and stick with that. Let me get rid of some of these ordinary rings I'm holding on to. Now let me get back to it. And I'll check out the rest of his inventory off camera later. It stopped. But it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? Yes, it keeps happening. What is it? There's something underneath the city. Inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. Yeah, that would sound kind of insane, except that uh, gnomes tend to know the earth pretty well. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. Oh, 
Well, Gorchash is a dead man. I got my own reasons for taking him down, but, uh... Yep, yeah, I'm with you. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Personally, I put all the blame on Gortosh. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. What's the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A rune powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and... Boom. Problem solved. Volbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. Yeah, you know, he's got a point. And we don't know for sure that the Gondians are doing this willingly. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. You know, I could take the bomb, but there's no reason I have to use it. Only contact with the Gondians, maybe they'll see reason. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. You know what? That's fair. I'll take it, but only as a last resort. As long as you see sense. I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? <clears throat> I think there's more to this than meets the eye. You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians? They are inventors, just like us. The snickety and self-important, too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Please, speak to them before you do anything. They deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces, don't you think? 
All right, I'll speak to him. That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. And if it's not necessary, hey, free bomb. Gonna help us clear those watches from the streets? <clears throat> That's the point. I'm not comfortable with the collateral damage, though. That bomb will save a lot more people than it kills. Trust me. I've seen what those watchers can do. Locked. But there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. in general. Room pattern in Modern Gnome. Level up your life into the Feywild. And we can go ahead and read the books at least. Let's see, it's been almost 15 years since I bought this forge from Old Goosen, and all that time I thought I'd seen everything, but I was wrong. The scimitar of the Rivington brat brought in yesterday is the third weapon may have been Infernal Iron I purchased in the last month. The only Infernal weapons I've seen since I've been here. Of course, I sold them all pronto, probably getting less than that mind if I was willing to send them well. That's not something I'm willing to do. Mama originally didn't raise any fools, but I have to worry, where are these diabolical weapons coming from? Let's see, into the Feywild. Excerpt from an unpublished memoir. I called my name to the darkness, and nothing came back, not even an echo. That was the moment I knew I was truly alone, that I, Galadro Algeline, would have to find a way to confront myself, accept myself, and finally embrace myself for exactly who I was. And it was the Feywild that would teach me how. Life going down the latrine, wondering why nobody likes you, losing out on love, wondering what's wrong with you. The short answer is nothing. You're just lacking a little charisma. It's a common misconception that charisma is something you're born with. The truth is charisma can be learned. And by purchasing this book, you've taken the first step on the path to being the best version of you. Uh, this extremely wordy treatise supposes about the possibility of recreating rune powder, the mythical explosive... Da -da 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 -da. It looks like it is a smith. I'm still carrying that severed hand around. Tried. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? How will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Let's see, slowly and painfully, quickly and efficiently. 
Bard, I like to hum a little funeral dirge, add the sense of occasion. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Powerful, untouchable, unstoppable. The rush, the adrenaline does wonders for my creative process. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. All right. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? I'd never kill someone I cared about. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. Oh, hell. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. He'll find your weaknesses, stick a knife in the cracks, and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? <sighs> and yet you try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. You were attacked by a doppelganger. She was impersonating me. Is that so? You've got some evil twin running round, whacking people round the back of the head. Yes. I'll tell you now, you'll be seeing bloody double when I'm done with you. Let's see, persuasion, deception, and persuasion. And persuasion is my bread and butter, so. Somehow I have favorable, favorable beginnings in spite of everything. Were you? I'm almost certain. Ah, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. We've seen enough of your face today. Well, I did at least get some XP for talking my way out of that. What do you want now? Well, I was actually hoping to trade. And go down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Guess that this is the shop proper. Is a better person than both of us. Hi! Or want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What do you say? Huh? They seem to be pushing the spears. Are you the one that sells the Smith's weapons? Yep, that's me. Alright. Grumpy fellow, isn't he? On the outside. But he's a softy at heart. Like molten steel. Also, he's a living legend. Do you know he's won best Smith in Rivington seven years in a row? And, and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. Let me see if I can help you boost your sales figures. Oh, yay! 
Let's see, we've got Swire Sideboard. Very rare shield. Bone Spike Garb. Very rare clothing. You gain 15 temporary hit points when you rage. Reduce all incoming damage by 2. When you're struck by melee attack, the attacker takes 1 piercing damage. That can be very useful for a barbarian. The Dancing Breeze. That'd be a glaive. Arrow Dragon Sling. Stalker Gloves. Plus 1 to initiative rolls. Your sneak attack does an extra 1d4 force damage. And we got Splint Armor plus 2. Half Blade Armor plus 2. Chainmail plus 2. Studded Lever plus 2. That would actually be an upgrade for me, so... <sighs> Plus two Elven Chain. Also step up. Is that white? No, that's medium. Darn the luck. Let's see. Longbow plus one. Dagger plus one, javelin plus one, maul plus one, pike plus one, spear plus one, and spear plus one. Yeah, wow, she is not kidding about trying to sell the spears. Yeah, well, I'm probably never going to use these grease bottles, to be fair. That Half Life Mom might come in handy fighting the vampires. Where's that die I was just holding on to?
while I'm thinking of it. Back again! Want a dagger? Oh, yay! Something in kite armor plus two. Yeah, I can't really get anything extra for Gale, but... Adamantine scale mail. Yeah, I can't do much better than that for somebody who has a medium armor proficiency. Although, weirdly enough, it says that she does not have medium armor proficiency. <clears throat> Although it isn't telling me what Shadow Heart can use. Yeah, well. She's good with what she's got, I think. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! And just that curiosity, where am I relative to... Oh, well. This is uh, right by the well where I start finding all of the dead bodies before after going through the abandoned windmill, so I seem to have unintentionally checked out most of the uh, territory around here. Well, I am going to unburden my inventory here and make my way back to the circus, because there's a fair bit that we haven't explored there. Actually, no, no, next time I'm going to go backtrack the way we came go back through the temple grounds and we're going to do that quest with helping the amulet spirit. But thank you all for watching this twisty, windy path. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. If you are or if you aren't, please leave a comment. And I will catch you all next time. Take care until then.